This chateau was built in the first half of the 17th century. Its first known owner was the controller of buildings for the king, who died there in 1731. In the 18th century, the castle was occupied by the Billin family, which sold it in 1780 to the Duchess of Valliers. The Marquis Crux kept the castle until 1924, when it passed into the hands of Michel de Bourbon Parme from 1960 to 1989. It was then acquired by various property developers, who let it deteriorate to give it its deplorable state today. Initially built as a pavilion, it was developed with additional buildings, such as the building on the north side and even a farmhouse in the 19th century. In the 2000s, the garden disappeared, and the chateau fell into ruin. The castle's gardens had a vast rectangular body of water to the southwest, decorated with a rectangular island. In front of the castle, to the west, a circular basin, surrounded by a stone border, which was decorated until the 1990s with a famous lead statue made by Louis II Le Rambert and representing Lamour shooting with an arc. This work, made around 1667 to adorn the basin of the Perterre des Fleurs of the Palace of Versailles Park, is the oldest known sculpture of the gardens of Louis XIV's first Versailles. Lost after the sale of the estate in 1989, the work reappeared on the art market in 2007 and was acquired in 2009 by the Palace of Versailles, which had it restored in 2010. In 2022, it was the subject of a project to transform the residence into private apartments.
The residence will contain a majority of one, two, and three bedroom apartments and offer a secure living environment. It will be 100% accessible and meet the latest environmental standards. The realization of the project was initially planned for 2024, but then postponed to 2026. Prices start at €245,000 for the smallest apartment, which measures 39 square meters. The park will be managed by the municipality. <laughs> 